Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the non-Android OS, which is Ubuntu Touch based on Linux for a Redmi Note 5 Pro. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, several months before, I saw a phone on internet, which is called as the Pine phone, which runs on Ubuntu, which is called as Ubuntu Touch. And I was like really excited, like what Ubuntu looks on phone. So this is it. Ubuntu Ports has it for us, has ported for a lot of devices, the GSI, which you can install it on your device. And this one is for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and supported by our developers too. So thanks to them. And yep, let's take a look at it. So this is Ubuntu Touch 16.4 and my device is Redmi Note 5 Pro. Don't confuse it with the Redmi Note 5 wins. This is Redmi Note 5 AI or Redmi Note 5 Pro. So you can see it has this apps, this app doll like thing. You can just uh, stretch it from here and you have these apps, clock, contacts. Let's go into system settings. Now guys, this is not a daily driver device, like daily driver ROM. This is Ubuntu and if you know exactly how to operate Ubuntu, you know the commands, you know what use it has. Then you can just go and install it and you can make use of it or else it's just useless. So if you really want to uh, have some uh, uh, something about this or something from this, then only you can install it or it's just a waste of time installing Ubuntu. But yeah, just for a try, you can give it a try. Obviously, it, it will not wipe your data. Your data will be exactly the same from the OAOSP ROM. So yeah, that's it. Let's go. It has Wi-Fi, uh, location, Bluetooth and that working. I don't know if Bluetooth audio calls are working fine or not. But yeah, the basic Wi-Fi and all that stuff is working. And we have this uh, app store too maybe the ubuntu store open store and you can install some apps you don't get uh, you know, uh, okay I'll be careful yeah you can see you can uh, you don't get facebook and all that stuff but yeah these are some apps which you need for linux you will maybe have telegram and all that stuff but yeah you can surf the web it's not that important right now what we have is a new really new os and this will show uh, sorry let me show you the system settings it just takes it to the default one so about and yeah this is the about uh, section oh i have turned off the rotation mode and you can see it says ubuntu uh, helium ubuntu touch serial number it will show you all of your stuff and yeah not much of the information uh let's go we have updates brightness you can add just uh, display brightness and all that stuff and yeah these are the options background sound language and text sound i don't know if it's working or not uh, it does not show any feedback here if it touches the full. So yeah, I don't know. Language and text. Display language. And yeah, we have these languages here. If you just wanted to test, you have all these long languages. So that's great. Let's go back. And then we have your background. You can change the background and stuff. You can see we have Ubuntu wallpapers. Let's go back. Sound notifications. Yeah, that is just basic stuff. Now, yeah, if you know how to use Ubuntu and you're really like you have to do some things which are really easy to be done via phone, then yeah, you can make use of this OS. Also, it won't wipe your OSP data or stuff. So that's really awesome. Also, we have the terminal app right here to get the Ubuntu terminal, the Linux terminal. And it says authentication required. So you have to just enter Fablet as the password. So I will just enter it. Yeah, you can see uh, the default password is Fablet. I don't know how to set it, but yeah, you can change it in the settings. And yeah, you can see you can see the commands are working. So you can use uh, this to install packages and do your normal stuff. You can also, if you are a ROM developer, you can do this to update trees just from your phone. So yeah, if you feel that is easy. So yep, that's it. That is Ubuntu uh, for you guys. Uh, yeah, I know. This is not totally Ubuntu, like I have not explained it fully, but yeah, if you want to get the experience fully, you have to install it. And yeah, let's move to the installation now. There's one thing more, if you press the power button, it will directly react to the power menu. Maybe it's because this is how it reacts. So, yeah. so guys, I have the CR Droid ROM installed and let's just go do the recovery mode. So I will power off the device and then I'll press the volume up and the power button to boot it into recovery so mode. i have the orange fox recovery and i will suggest you to go for the orange fox recovery the latest version always so first of all you have to go is to backup i have the serial backup 
I'll just take a separate backup to just explain how to do it properly. You just have to back up, back up the boot partition. Just swipe it because Ubuntu will install as a dual boot. So that's really nice. Then you have to go in here, downloads or wherever your files are stored. So download the files from the description. You will see this Helium boot image. You have to flash that to boot. Go back and flash the Ubuntu ports. It is a zip file, flashable one, so no worries. Let this finish. So guys, you can see the GSI has been flashed and it takes like almost one or two minutes. So now let's reboot system and it will boot and we'll just skip to the Ubuntu uh, boot animation. And guys, as you can see, uh, Ubuntu is booting and that's it. You have successfully du dual booted Ubuntu port touch uh, with uh, in your Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI, you can see with us for the setup and you can just go and set up now uh, the thing is how to restore back to your AOSP ROM without losing its data so yeah just easy method just power off and go back to recovery and follow my steps now so guys there are two methods to recover so first is uh, you have to uninstall Ubuntu fully and then just restore that which is easy and if you want to keep uh, Ubuntu so first let me tell you uh, to uninstall so if you want to full uninstall just press this and flash the zip it will fully uninstall then restore the boot now if you want to keep ubuntu you just go to backup restore this boot uh, this one just the boot it's restoring and then you can just you can reboot system let me show you that it will boot into my osp rom which is cr droid and if you want to again boot into the Ubuntu, you have to just flash the Helium boot image, which is present in uh, your directory. And yeah, you can see this is my C Android ROM boot animation. And if you want to flash, uh, sorry, if you want to boot again into Ubuntu Touch, which is pre-installed, which is installed dual booted, then you just have to flash Helium boot and just reboot the system. And that's it. That is how you can dual boot your ASP ROM and Ubuntu Touch port for our Redmi Note 5 Pro. And that's it. Uh, Bye bye, I will see you guys in the next video with the Redmi Note 5 Pro too soon and yeah, please stay at your home, stay safe and guys, please take care, the coronavirus uh, cases are increasing so please stay at your home, use uh, proper hygiene methods to prevent the uh, virus, so yeah, bye bye.